If you could tell Rhett and Link anything, what would you say? Let's talk about that. Good. 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 Mythical. 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 Morning. 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 My name is Sarah and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Chantal and I'm from Australia. My name is Matilda and I'm from Venice, Sweden. My name is Jamie and I'm from Illinois. My name is Emily and I'm from Michigan. My name is Hayden and I'm from Michigan. My name is Sarah Ashour. I'm from Grand Prairie, Texas. I'm Amelia from Sweden. My name is Katrina and I'm from Sweden. My name is Miranda from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm Heather from Wisconsin. My name is Tori and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Rebecca Coleman and I'm from Royal Oak, Michigan. I'm Carissa from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Izzy from Turkey. My name's Alexis and this is Luna and we're from Levittown, Pennsylvania. My name is Elena. I am from Mexico City. I'm Echo Liu. From Taipei, Taiwan. My name is Adriana. I'm from Pennsylvania. My name is Emily, and this is my dog, Sammy. We are mythical beasts from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My name is Emma. I'm from Australia. I'm Lee, and I'm from Hungary. I'm Jessica from Brooklyn, New York. My name is Brittany. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. So a while ago, I asked you, I asked you guys to tell me what you thought about Rhett and Link. If you could see that, there it is. And the response was pretty impressive, great. I don't know what to say about it. Here's what you guys had to say. Please enjoy. I would personally like to thank Rhett and Link for being the inspiration um, behind my YouTube channel. I started YouTube because I fell in love with Good Mythical Morning and I am truly am inspired by you guys. So... I would like to say thank you very, very much for um, inspiring me to step outside my box because I used to be a very shy person and now I have people coming up to me going, oh my god, you're Shambi from, from YouTube. And it's it's great. I mean, it's not an overly successfully, successful channel yet because I've only been doing it for two months. But it is thanks to you guys. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. I'm, pro I'm sure you guys get that a, a bit too. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you and Merry Christmas. And I send my well wishes and love to you guys. And good luck for Season 9. Brett and Link have taught me that it's okay to be yourself. Even if yourself is goofy and weird. Thank you you to Rhett for teaching me to go all in whenever I want to do something. And to Link for teaching me to be myself and not to care what others think. Thank y'all for inspiring me and my friend to start to make music together and for helping us to realize that friendship isn't something that's just for when you're a kid, that's just for when you're in high school, that's just for when you're in grade school, that it can last forever and that one day, if it be what happens, I could be working with my best friend, like y'all, and it'd be great. Um, thank you for making my days happy and my mornings mythical. Thank you, Link, for always making me smile no matter what. If 
I could tell her to make anything, I would tell them how incredibly smart and creative they are. They are so talented and put so much effort into doing this every day. Watching them just really brightens my day, and the videos always make me super happy. And I'm so thankful for that. What I wanted to tell Rhett and Link, and what I think I like most about who they are and what they do, is that I know at the end of the day, behind all of the YouTube glitz and glamour, is that their dads and husbands, they're family men who are um, working for a living to support their families. And I think it's just such a good example for us and for the culture to see that you really got to take into account the things that are most important, and they definitely do that. So thank you, Rhett and Link, for being those internet dads for us. Um, I really do appreciate everything you do, and I will keep watching. First thing I'd like to tell you guys is that you are awesome people who are hilarious, and I just love your all's dynamic because you have been friends for so long, and that's what makes your content interesting. You guys have helped me kind of, not really kind of, but you guys have helped me figure out more about my like I've learned more about myself through watching you guys and you guys have helped me figure out what I want to do and help me really get this get my YouTube channel started um this is the channel since this is what the video is posted on um, and I'm the one who organized it this whole thing and I'd really like to thank you guys for brightening my day whenever I felt down and I knew I could always go and turn on GMM no matter if it was a new episode or if it was um, an older episode. And you guys, I mean, first of all, talking to you guys, I was so nervous and so excited at the same time when I did the sit me up thing in June. Um, but you guys are so chill and I really want to go to VidCon soon to meet you guys because I know that would be awesome. But I'm getting away from the, what I was going to say next. The main thing I'd like to thank you guys for is um, thank you for helping me make so many friends. Um, I know all the mythical beasts out there. Um, and that's a shout out to you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for helping me make friends. I have a huge, I've met a huge community of people on Tumblr. Um, I've also started making friends on Twitter. Um, and it's just, you know, when I when I found you guys, I was, it was... January 1st was when I was, when I saw a post that I was, like, binge-watching GMM of last year, of 2015. And at that point, I was, it was, I was getting into my spring, spring semester of my senior year of high school, and I just was, like, I, you know, was starting to grow distant from some of my friends since I knew I wasn't going to see them much now that I'm in college. And, you know, those people definitely, and you guys helped me feel like I was part of a community and part of a family of um, Mythical Beasts. And I really thank you guys for that, and I owe it to you for that. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for being so awesome. If I could tell Red and Link anything... It would be mostly just thanking them for the many times they've made me laugh at times where I didn't even feel like smiling. I would also thank them for the numerous times that they've reminded me that I belong in a community of mythical beasts. I I belong with in the community within the mythical beast community. I I, I belong there. I, I I'm being reminded by that multiple times a day. And. The connection they have with us is very rare, I think, to many other people online. Because I've seen them like legitimately appreciate what we do and connect with us in a way that I've never really seen anyone else do. They let us be a big or sometimes even a main part of their content, main part of GMM, a main part of other things. And they give us little tasks and things to do, and they give us challenges and all sorts of things to do. And they have a clever sense of humor, and they have something that really 
makes the audience want to stay and learn and watch more. As and, and GMM is a good example of this because they entertain us and with their clever sense of humor once again, but they let us be a part of their contents. The reenactments or the vacay gone cray cray is perfect examples of this. It's we submit our stories, our real life stories, but we get them replayed in front of our eyes by Ren Link. And it's really like a really unique and sweet thing to see. And personally, I've I love I've seen myself as a part of their content ever since I, since I started watching them, because I've always known that like I am a mythical beast. They're talking to me. I know they're not directly speaking to me, but they tell you mythical beasts, mythical beasts. They're always talking about us. And they always want us to be a part of their content. They always want us to be a part of the whole community among us and them. Which I think is really amazing. But another thing that I really want to thank them about and thank them is that they've opened up a new creative side of me. That since I started watching Red Link, I have never done this much fan art for anything before. For example, these Christmas ornaments. These little guys, these little Christmas ornaments. I've got a plate. I've got a bunch of paintings. I've, I've, I feel like I accomplish something more often now than I did before I watched. Before I found out about Red Link. I feel like I accomplish more things because I feel like I accomplish something solely by being a part of the community and being a part of everything. I'm not a big part, I'm not a major part, but I don't care. I'm a part of something, and it's me, and it's not something about me. And I think that's really cool, and I want to thank them for making me feel like I accomplished something a lot more often. That's pretty much it, actually. I have been fans of you guys actually since the Bitly Brothers days, but um, Good Mythical Morning, I found it at a time where I needed it the most, I think. I was kind of in a dark spot in my life, and it brought daily laughs, and I learned something new every day. And um, you guys, I, the more I learned about you, the more inspiration I got from you to better myself and give myself more um, attention. Uh, kind of take care of things that I needed to. I love your music. Your families are so sweet and um, I just love everything about everything. The crew, um, everybody that you work with, all the things that you do as far as the like the action against hunger, things like that. You're just very inspirational and um, you, you make me drive to want to take part in things uh, outside of myself. Um, and uh, I just really, really love you guys and love everything you do, so thank you so much. If I could say anything to Rhett and Link, I would say your videos make me so happy when I'm sad. Thank you. If I could tell Rhett and Link anything, I would thank them for being there for me. I watch GMM every day and it helps me if I'm having a bad day or if I'm feeling sad or anything like that. And um, you guys inspire me to do what I love and work really hard at it. And I just, I really hope you guys know how appreciated and loved you are by all of your mythical beasts. So thank you to Rhett and Link. I really like your videos. Uh, your voice is so great. Um, I started watching you through PewDiePie um, and I showed that episode to my sister and she uh, a big fan now. And we both uh, love your content. Thank you for being inspirations. 
I love you guys. And I would like to thank Rhett and Link for being my role models and for being genuine nice people who care about their mythical beasts. You guys have inspired me to be a creative person and to never give up on things that may not make a lot of money but are a lot of fun to do. So thank you. Hi, I'm Lori from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I hope to meet you guys one day to express how much it makes me happy watching your show. Um, I just want to say to Rhett and Link, I am just so thankful for all you guys do. Thank you so much for putting so much effort into everything you do. I know I said that a million times, but there is not enough thank yous and gratitude you can put to you guys. You guys really make YouTube fun. <laughs> Seriously. If there wasn't a YouTube, if there wasn't you guys, YouTube would be pretty boring. Because other YouTubers, they're okay. But nobody compares to you guys. That's really, really true. Um, just Rhett, Link, Mythical Crew, thank you guys so, so much for putting so much effort into everything you guys do. You guys really put a lot of time and money and effort into really making us laugh. And that's so true. Um, I just want to definitely tell you guys that I love coming home or, you know, Tammy, sorry, coming home sometimes and or waking up in the morning and going on Twitter and seeing the fun episode we have if it's like a will it whatever taste test or will it explode or whatever. Good one, by the way. Whatever, you know, it's... Whatever the day might be, be maybe it's a other YouTuber or a collaboration with somebody or whatever it could be, it's always fun because it says "Good Mythical Morning" back there. You know, backwards obviously, but back. Good Mythical Morning, obviously great. Um, but guys, it's so funny that it's kind of how in the community people always say, "Oh, how'd you meet Rhett and Link? Had someone show you to it? Did someone you want to walk over someone's shoulder? Were you rollerblade us into ear biscuits? Did someone?" hear the podcast in yours, I don't know, whatever. Well, how I found Rhett and Link was I was doing boop, 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 <laughs> research, and I was doing research on presidents, and it's and I was looking up, like, you know, president facts about cool president facts, and I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. There's Abe Lincoln with a big boombox on his shoulder. That was pretty cool. Well, check that out. Well, good thing I did, because if I didn't, I would have never found GMM, there we go, GMM, because once I first saw that video and it was probably in the old studio in Rhett's backyard so definitely had to be pretty older but when I saw that video I was like this is awesome and I found the it's in my it's my belly button song great my playlist um I saw all your videos and I was like this is so good and I watch you every single day I watch you um in the mornings I watch you during my study halls I watch you before you go to bed and I am like a GMM all like I don't care. <laughs> I think it's okay to say we all are lovers of GMM because it's awesome. Thank you guys so much, Rhett. Thank you, Rhett. Thank you, Link. Thank you, uh, Mythical Beast and Mythical Crew. Thank you guys so much for putting so much effort into making GMM every single day. And when you guys aren't, you know, you're out and about doing all kind of stuff with your families or friends or whatever, and we see you on the streets, and you always want to get pictures and say hi. And that's what I love about you guys. Sammy, <laughs> sorry, she loves to say hi, um, but you guys really just make it so much fun, so thank you guys so much, and be your mythical best. Um, when I was thinking about what to say to you, Rhett and Link, um, I discovered that it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, you've done so much for us over the years of Good Mythical Morning and Rhett and Link, and... I just appreciate it so much. I mean, you've always made sure we had content to watch, you've held contests, you've sacrificed time with your families even to bring us content, and um, there's not words that can describe how much I, and I'm sure all of the Mythical Beasts appreciate it, and um, you always tell us thank you for being your mythical best, but this time 
I thank you for being your mythical best. And this is the question I've been wanting to ask Rhett and Link for a very long time. Well, would you ever come to Taiwan? I mean, this is my country and stuff, but it's very small and no famous YouTubers will ever come here. So if I really want to meet my lifetime idols and stuff, I'll have to like board a plane and fly to the USA. But I know it's impossible because because it's too expensive and such a long time. And also, thank you, Rhett, for liking my tweet yesterday on January 6th. It's a surprise in my life. I can't believe... I can't believe my one of my lifetime idols just liked my stuff. And this, is, this has been one of my lifetime goals. And it was just achieved yesterday. So yeah, that's all. I just want to say a big thank you. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> you are my role models. Seriously. I really admire the fact that you can manage to follow your dreams, be businessmen, bring joy to people, have an awesome friendship, and have awesome families all at the same time. That is something I would love to achieve someday. You are part of my daily routine, obviously, and whenever I feel down, all I have to do is watch one of your videos, and that totally cheers me up. Finally, I just want to say that Red, I love how you get super excited when something gets your attention. I can relate to that. And Link, your humor sometimes is so dark, I just love it. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for existing, and... Thank you very much for just being you. I just wanted to say that Brett and Link, you guys brighten my morning every day and I love having the show as part of my daily routine. I would like to thank Beth and Link for making me smile every single day and putting their hearts into what they do. And of course, giving me the opportunity to meet with so many amazing people all around the world who have now become my family. Rhett and Link inspired me to start making music videos on YouTube again. If I could say anything to Rhett and Link, it would be that no matter what horrible thing happens to me, I can always count on your videos to make me smile. And one day I was having a really bad day and I came home and I watched an episode of Good for the Morning and it just put a smile on my face instantly. So thank you Rhett and Link and thank you to your crew for making everything possible. And um, I guess if I could tell Rhett and Link anything, it would just you know, be thank you, obviously, for all the content that you guys have put out. I mean, just the entertainment and laughs that you bring all of us in you know, the community or whatever media platform the beast to use. And because um, I know especially the last year or so of my life hasn't been exactly rainbows and sunshine, but having GMM to look forward to every weekday morning or having like song biscuits on the weekends or whatever is getting put out, Facebook videos, and posts in between there, having those moments where I can just laugh and you know, just be able to enjoy those moments have been really awesome. And just um, the new friends I've made in the last, oh goodness, just a little over a year now that I've been a part of the Mythical Beasts and just having those new friends be able to joke around about the content and just find other similar just that we've all come around. Whether you know it's art or different types of music or whatever. And it's just been so cool to see, you know, something like that come from, you know, just a few YouTube videos that, you know, I stumble onto by accident. And that just how drastically those things can change. 
and uh, obviously provide an awesome new wardrobe, clearly. But, uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, just thank you for everything, and I hope that 2016 is even better than last year for y'all. Just the rate that everything's growing, y'all deserve you work so hard. And, um, just, you know, the crew, and you can just tell that y'all are so passionate about what you do. And just, it inspires us as beasts to pursue whatever, whether it's YouTube, like you guys, or music, or art, or just anything. And just to know that we can, you know, you can do anything that you set your mind to if you just jump headfirst into it. So yeah, so just thank you for everything, and I hope y'all have a great year. I'm Brittany, and I'm a mythical beast. I am a proud mythical beast. I am a 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 mythical beast. I'm a mythical beast. I'm a mythical beast. I'm a mythical beast. I am a mythical beast. I am a mythical beast. I'm a mythical beast. I'm a mythical beast. I'm a mythical beast. I am a mythical beast. I am a mythical beast. Wow. Thank you guys so much for participating. Um, that was a lot of fun to make, and I know a lot of you guys enjoyed making your videos or taking your pictures and stuff like that. And even, like, the people who did the instrumental, shout out to you guys, because the instr I, I'm not good with music at all, and that's something that I was like, oh, hey, Gemma, can you, like, do that for me? And she did a really awesome job with that. So thank you guys so much for participating, and um, thank you for watching this video. Um, to Rhett and Link, if you guys are watching this video, so you can see you've done a lot for a lot of the Mythical Beasts, as I'm sure you already know. Um, and, I mean, keep doing you. Here's to a great, even better 2016. Um, as of January 1st, is been one year since I've been a Mythical Beast, and you guys have, as I said earlier, um, helped me just kind of discover who I am and what I want to do uh, with the rest of my life as far as, like, when it comes to college and stuff like that. Um, so I thank you guys for that. And I thank you guys for participating. If you did, if you did not, leave in the comments um, something you'd want to say to Rhett and Link or, um, how, you know, how they've impacted you in some way, shape, or form if you watch them. Um, I really, again, um, thank you guys for participating. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, and... I will hopefully see you guys next time with another video. Who knows? Maybe. Because I know you guys are hit, coming up on 10 million there, right? Yeah. I see you guys are almost at 9 million. Or maybe by the time you see this video, you hit 9 million. Who knows? But thanks for being so awesome. Thank you guys for being your mythical best. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.